Now, what percentage of the people right now are paying over MSRP for new new uh, new vehicles? I'm gonna say seventy to eighty percent. I'm gonna say fifty. Ninety percent. Eighty-two. These are gifts. Thank you, sir. How do I know that? Am I making that up? <laughs> I, heard, I heard this variation. 82% yeah. um, of people, of people buying new vehicles this year are paying over MSRP. You guys are at MSRP with, with few exceptions, okay? That means you are literally showing the customer a discounted price. However, customers aren't used to paying MSRP, are they? No, they, and I'm sure we get pushback from time to time. I'm going to show you how to show the customer how that MSRP price is a deeply discounted price. Because if 82% of the people are paying over MSRP, on average, how much over MSRP are they paying? 10%. You got the sheet in front of you, don't you? No, I swear. Oh, you don't? Okay. Is this a lot? You are. That's a good guess. You, you know shit. You can play Powerball or that. Just, you just go by with the way the world's going and the way the people are. 10% 10, 10 is the number. It's actually 9.9 .9 to round up to 10. Okay, the average amount of money people are paying for new vehicles is 10% over MSRP. I mean, it, insane. It's, it, it's insane. <clears throat> it's goodly insane. Mm -hmm. Goodly insane. Well, last month, they came out with this report. And they're the ones that I'm, I'm going to give you guys a copy of this. Okay. They're the ones that say 82% of the people pay over MSRP. Average is 9.9. .9. Now, if you buy a Jeep Wrangler, you're going to pay 27% over MSRP. You buy a Corvette, you're going to pay almost 20% over MSRP. And then what they did here is they listed the 15 vehicles people were paying the most over MSRP for. But the data that you want to remember and show customers is 82% of the people are paying over MSRP, the average is 10%. So if I'm looking at this Silverado and the MSRP is $57,000 and as a customer I say I don't want to pay MSRP, how could you use this data? You got one up? Yes, I did get that. Thanks, sir. How could you use it? Do we even need to use this? Can we just say what we said there? Well, no, because a sales. What year were you in second grade? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't answer the question either. Oh, it, was right. a while, it was a while back, right? Yeah. All right. Did you ever do show and tell? Yeah. Okay. Show and tell is the only sales training we get in elementary school. Okay. We bring something in, we show it, and we tell it, and we tell about it. It's a lot more powerful to show than it is to tell. 